Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope you're having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on equation of lines. Writing equation of the lines is one of the most important topic in Algebra 1. There are four scenarios here. We'll go through them one by one and hopefully by end of those clips so you'll have a pretty good understanding on those problems that we're going to give you any trouble at all on the test. That's the whole. Let's get started. When they say it's a point slope form, they're really saying any line can be written in y is equal to mx plus b. The reason they call it a point slope, well, slope is easy. It's the slope, so the coefficient in front of x is slope. Point, on the other hand, takes a little work to see it. If you plug x equal to 0 here, y is going to be a b. And for that reason, the line cuts into the x, a y-axis at 0 and b. And for that reason, we call this point b y-intercept. That makes sense, right? Because literally the line cuts into the y-axis. Okay, so the point is 0, b, and the slope is here. Therefore, it's called a point-slope form. Okay, when they say find a equation of a line, they're really saying, look, I'm going to give you some clues. Can you find out what m is? Can you find out what b is? If you can find those m and b, then you're set to go. The first question, they gave you two points, 5 and 7, 6 and 8. In order to calculate the slope between the two, we have changing in y, changing in x. This little triangle means change. Okay, so whichever one you pick doesn't really matter. But I do tell students what does matter is you stick with it. So do not change your mind. Once you pick a point to be the beginning point, stick with it. Okay, so changing in y, let's do 7 minus 8 changed in 1 or minus 1. Do the same order, 5 minus 6. Okay, so you have 1 over minus 1 over minus 1, or slope equal to positive 1. Now, if you didn't believe this, let's say you choose the other way around, 6 and 8, 5 and 7. Then m is equal to, changing in y, 8 minus 7, 6 minus 5. m is still positive 1. Like I said, it doesn't matter which point you pick as point 1. What does matter is you stay with the same order. Okay. Now, once you find a slope, the rest of it is kind of easy if you think about it. Okay. There's still one more clue we didn't use. Earlier, we said we need to do y equal to mx plus b. We know what m is, so y is equal to m equal to 1, so it's x plus b. The only thing we need to find out is what is b. Okay. And the clue you really need comes back to this picture. We were given a point. y is equal to, uh, for our problem, is x plus b. The point 5, 7 belongs to this equation. Mathematically speaking, that's saying, if you have x equal to 5, and then as your best friend, y is equal to 7. Let's plug it in here. y is 7 x has to be 5. Then what b does it take to make this happen? b is equal to 2. Okay. If you don't like this point, for some reason you don't like 5 and 7 as your friend, let's try the other one, 6 and 8. should get exactly the same thing. y is equal to x plus b. Okay. This is your uh, wrong place, x. x is a 6. y is 8 plus b. And what do you know? B is exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which sibling pair you pick, the answer for B is always the same. Once you get M and B, you're set to go. So answer for number one is Y is equal to 1 times X plus 2, or Y equal to X plus 2. Okay, that's the first answer. And the next few clips will go through number two. Question number two, question number three, and question number four. My hope is at the end of this four-part series, this will be a piss cake for you. All right? This is how we handle part, part of the 
finding equation of lines. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.